I'm Robbie Carmen, and I want to show you a very cool feature in Adobe Sound Booth. That feature is creating a transcript from an audio file. Now, why would you need to create a transcript? Well, there's lots of reasons. Maybe you're a documentary film producer and you have hours upon hours of interviews that you want to transcribe so you can be able to write a script and cut your show. Or maybe you just need a record of what somebody said. The reasons are endless, but the execution of creating the transcript is very simple. Let me show you how it works. So here in Adobe Sound Booth, I have an audio file. It's a very short audio file. And let me just go ahead and play this file. OK, so you can see it's just a short file. And what I'm going to do is select all this file by using the keyboard shortcut Command-A. That will select all of the waveform here. And then I'm going to come up to the Edit menu and then down to Speech Transcription and choose Transcribe. In the dialog box that pops up, I have a couple options. I can choose the language that I want to transcribe from. Now, just be careful. This is not going to transcribe English into German or Russian into Spanish. This option is to choose the language of the original audio file. And here, currently, it's set to German. But I actually want to change this to English. And you'll notice in the English, I actually have a couple options, Australian English, Canadian English, uh, UK English, and then finally US English. So let me go ahead and choose US English because I know that the speaker was speaking United States English. Down here under the quality pull down, I have two options, medium, which says faster, and high, which says slower. Now, you might be tempted to use the medium quality, but trust me, go ahead and use the high or the slower quality. This will get you much more accurate transcriptions. So I'll choose that. And then finally, I have the ability to identify speakers. If you have an audio file where there's more than one speaker, you can identify which speaker is which. But since this file only has one speaker, I'm going to uncheck this. And then I'm going to click OK. And Soundbooth's going to go ahead and transcribe this file. Now, don't worry if it seems at first that it says it's going to take hours upon hours. This dialog box tends to speed up very quickly. OK, now that this file is done transcribing, let's go over here to the left-hand side of Soundbooth, and you'll notice there's an area right here called Speech Transcription. And it has transcribed this audio file into text. So let's see what it says. Let's face it, you're sort of creating a lot. To creating an image within and so on, I think it's pretty wonderful. Hold on a second, this doesn't sound right. Let's click back in the audio file and play it back. Notice when I move my playhead through the audio file, as it's playing, the word becomes highlighted in the transcription. And let's play it back one more time. Oh, it's a look, not a lot. So what I can do if I find a mistake in an actual word in the transcription is click on the word and then just change it. So this is supposed to be look, not lot. And if you click on any word, Soundbooth will actually give you the confidence that it has in that word. So in this case of the word sort, it only thinks that it's 14% correct. So what do you do with this transcription once you made it? Well, you have a couple options. You can come up to the file menu and choose export speech transcription. And this will create an XML file which you can bring into Adobe Flash or even back into Soundbooth. Or you can simply right click on any of the transcription words and choose copy all. And then you can take this entire transcription, paste it into a Word document, a web page, whatever you need to do with it. So using Adobe Soundbooth, we can quickly and easily create transcriptions from audio files.